Hey, welcome back and thanks for watching the Precision Rifle Network. My name is Justin. Um, today I'm going to do a quick review on the uh, Impact Precision Ace Muzzle Brake. Uh, I put this on my 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, it's just a factory gun that has quite a bit of recoil, so I wanted to test the recoil reduction on that. Obviously, anytime you add a muzzle brake to a rifle, you're going to have some recoil reduction, but what I uh, liked about this muzzle brake was it seemed to allow the shooter to stay on target um, and watch those impacts and watch those misses. So here's a video of, of me shooting with the muzzle brake at these clay targets at 300 yards. And you can clearly see the, the impacts. And then you will look at this video. This is without the muzzle brake. And it was very difficult to see the impacts. Um, I was I missed both of those clays based on the fact that I couldn't see where I was missing, so it was hard for me to make an adjustment. That's one of the selling points of this muzzle brake is it was designed so that the shooter could stay on target and watch those misses and impacts and be able to make a, a good adjustment. Um, would I say that this muzzle brake is leaps and bounds above others on the market? No, I would not, but it has a place for a particular shooter. For what I wanted, I wanted a muzzle brake that I could stay on target and I could watch my impacts and my misses and make adjustments. And that's what this muzzle brake was designed for. And another thing about this is the side ports on this muzzle brake are not as aggressive as some of the others. You know, some of the other muzzle brakes have a rearward facing ports on the side that are great for reducing recoil, but the negative side is there's a lot of muzzle blast pushed back towards the shooter and those next to them. Um, this one does not have as much of that concussive pop that you get from some muzzle brakes uh, that can cause you to flinch and cause you to just blink your eyes just enough that you miss trace or you miss uh, seeing your impacts. Another cool feature that I liked is the little um, hash marks or the indexes on the top where you can uh, have a reference point when you're timing this break on your gun to know uh, where you're at. If you're, you know, if you're just a little bit off, you can see that uh, and you can make an adjustment so that you're not spending 20 minutes trying to time your muzzle brake just perfectly. Um, overall, impressed with this muzzle brake. I'm looking forward to running it on my new 6GT in the future and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.